Hello everyone! For those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Wasim Heather and I'm a professor of mechanical and materials engineering at Central Michigan University. So today I'm going to be giving you some tips and some strategies on how to appear for a PhD admission interview. So some of the common questions which one should expect are, tell me about yourself. Why do you want to do a PhD? Tell me about your past research. Why do you want to work in our research group? Tell me any difficult time or moment at university or at your workplace and what did you do to overcome it? What do you want to do after you complete your PhD? Why should we offer this PhD position to you? Whether this is a formal or informal interview, make sure you practice because practice is the key to success. The very first thing which I want you to do is to ask these questions to yourself. Try to really dig deeper and try to find the reason behind these answers. It is very important that you are honest and you are truthful when you appear in interview. Make sure that you always look at camera. Try to show your passion, your motivation. Try to show the interest that why are you interested in the particular department or why are you interested in particular university or why are you specifically interested in a specific research or why are you particularly interested in working for a specific professor all these questions are very important so you really need to sit down and think about it and i really want you to write down all the answers wait for a couple days and then try to go back and try to revisit those answers and then revise them show it to your friends siblings any qualified people around you such as your professors or your boss, show it to them. You don't have to memorize the answers, but at least you have to read them a few times before you appear in the interview. So for example, the first question is, tell me about yourself. For example, if I tell about myself, I would say that my name is Wasim Heather. I was born and raised in Rawalpindi. I did my basic schooling from there. And then I want you to name Oh, I did my bachelor's and master's from this place and I'm hoping to be a professor one day and that's the reason I want to do PhD. In general, before I go further into this question, I want you to think that you are trying to tell them you are hoping to be a professor one day and indirectly you're saying that that's why you're doing the PhD. And what does the professor do? They do teaching and research. So somehow you need to show your passion about teaching. If you are currently teaching, make sure you highlight that. If you have done any past research or if you are very, very interested in some topics and some research areas, make sure you highlight those. Most of the time in America, they will not ask you very technical questions. And even if they do, they are not going to go into detail about those technical questions. So mainly they are trying to see how you're going to communicate, how you are going to express your thoughts, emotions, your motivation and your passion. And another very common question is, tell us about your past research experience. So that's also very important that you basically tell them, my research was focused on, let's say, uh, cardiovascular stents, or my research was focused on uh, machine learning in additive manufacturing. Whatever you want to say, so you make kind of like a general statement and then tell them in one or two sentences what your research was about. In another couple sentences, you should tell them the findings of your research. So it's almost like an abstract, you know, when you write a research article, so you have a little abstract right at the beginning of your research article. And if you were able to produce a publication, one or more, then make sure you highlight those that, oh, my research, my this research was published in this and this journals, or I was able to present this research in this and this conferences. Another question could be, what do you want to do after you complete your PhD? You might want to say that uh, I'm hoping to be a professor one day, as I said before. Other question could be, why should we offer you this PhD position? So here you want to mention very specific things. I have, you know, I have done the past research. I'm very excited about this uh, research area and I have done the, all these research. And when I wrote the research articles, you know, whatever you want to highlight, so make sure you tell them uh, very nicely and very professionally but every time 
in almost every question when you're answering, make sure you show your motivation, your excitement, your body language, your facial expression, your hand movement, your eye expression, everything needs to uh, needs to sh show you're excited, you're motivated, uh, you're very passionate about that research. Make sure you practice, as I said in the very beginning, because practice is the key to success. And a very important point is that make sure you do some internet search on the members of your interview panel. Make sure you look at their profile, their research profile. Make sure you quickly skim through their some of their research work or their papers to see what is their research background. So you should also do the some internet search on department and also on the university so that you are fully aware because they can ask you, oh, why do you want to join my group, right? Or why do you want to join this particular university or a particular department? If you have done some good internet research, then you can say, oh, because this is a very prestigious school, it is it is a R1 research university or, uh, or any other things which you wanna highlight. You need to give some real reasons and those reasons can only come when you know about the department, about the professor, about the university. And with that being said, good luck with your interviews. Have a great day.